I'm Scott L. Miller. It's the 27th of June, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today, we have another house. We talked about this before. We have a, our second $500 rental home in the Reparto Fatima on the north side of Leon. So we're going to go tour that house today right after the bump. We did our first tour a couple days ago. We went and looked at a house that was a for rent in Fatima, nearby nearby the residencias, but actually in the Reparto. Uh, just real quickly to explain, the Reparto is a normal like barrio, just a little bit farther out. It's kind of suburban, but still in the city. And a residencia is a gated community. So there is both up there in Fatima, and this can be very confusing. For the majority of people who are talking about Fatima from a distance, they typically are talking about the residencia. That is the small homes that are inside the gated, guarded community. So you have guards who walk you around, nighttime guards, a full gate that closes. It's a very tight little community and they're mostly uh, attached houses. In the Reparto Fatima, you do not have a gate because it is a barrio, and you typically have much larger houses, but you don't have, obviously, that, that same type of security uh, and, and management of everything. So it feels a little bit different. Both are very exclusive, very high-end, uh, quite expensive for the area and for Nicaragua in general. Uh, both are very beautiful, and they're right against each other. You go from one right into the other, you just have to go through a gate, but the feeling does change significantly. The houses that we're doing are in the Reparto. So these are freestanding houses or nearly freestanding, and each one is completely unique. When you're in the Residencia, they tend to be extremely similar because it's a single builder who's just building one right after another. They do vary, but not tremendously. And we're going to see some of those in the future. By the time I'm re recording this intro, I've already recorded uh, a video in the Residencia as well. But we're not going to do that as part of the comparison because it's a different thing. What we're comparing is three $500 houses in the Reparto Fatima. So it's the same price, three different spots, completely different houses to give you guys different feels of what you can get if you're looking here. Uh, so today's house is right around the corner from the first one we did. I mean, right around the corner, like four or five houses away. We just went, turned the corner, there it was. It's a yellow house and it's on a corner. It's a house I know uh, and it's a really beautiful spot. Being on a corner with its back against a cul-de-sac, which I'm going to show, is really a perfect spot because you've got great neighbors, super quiet on all sides. It is not a busy street. This is not a through road in any way. None of Fatima has through roads, but the first house we looked at a couple days ago is on the road that goes from the entrance into Fatima to the Residencia. So while it's not busy, you could get traffic of people going to the Residencia and there's more houses on that road. This house is off that and you basically will never get through traffic. You have a handful of houses that live on this road and that's where people are going to go through. So we're going to head into this house and show it to you now. It is a three bedroom, much brighter, more modern with a bigger backyard than the last one we looked at. So a very different configuration. We'll see what you think of this one for $500. All right, we have a really lovely little, just very green front walkway, front porch. You could put something here. You could have a chair or two. You could sit outside there, possibly a small table. Definitely a small space, but there's a little bit of porch there. We step into a very ample living room. This is quite nice. It's not huge, but this is very spacious. Plenty of room for doing pretty much whatever you want. You have nice windows out onto the front. Uh, notice these are glassed windows. This is meant to be potentially air conditioned. You can seal this off. You've got plenty of room for couches, for televisions, whatever you want. You then have this Notice there's outside doors. So this is a uh, kind of a Jack and Jill suite. These are the, the secondary rooms, uh, and you will notice the air conditioning split units are already in and lots of light. This is very bright, very modern. Um, this is not technically a Jack and Jill bathroom, but it is a shared bathroom. But because of the outside closing doors, you could effectively turn it into a Jack and Jill. Another matching bedroom here. Again, lots of light, built-in uh, closets, air conditioning is already there. And there's the outside doors. So you could close that off and make it a private two-bedroom, one-bath suite separate from the rest of the house. This is the master bedroom now. Air conditioning already installed there as well. Very good size, bigger built-in uh, wardrobe. Notice space for a television. View from here 
is into the back garden instead of the front. Has the master ensuite as well, of course. Don't typically get large bathrooms, even for the masters, but it is a adequate bathroom for sure. We have a full shower and everything there as well, and its own window. If you're gonna do air cooling, you do have two sides there, so you could open that up, get some airflow going. Now, all the things we've been missing, the kitchen and such, that is over here. So here's our kitchen. Small, but it's enough for a house of this size. Remember, this is just a three bedroom house, except is it? That's going to be a question. We have our laundry or utility area. This is actually kind of outside. There's no uh, no roof above us there. Then we step into what should be the bodega, the maintenance room, except it's almost nice enough to be a bedroom and it has its own bathroom. This is pretty small to be a bedroom. It does have a little bit of a window. It could be a bedroom. It makes a much better office, but technically that would make this a four bedroom, three bath, not a three bedroom, three bath as it is advertised. Again, I don't think I would use that as a, as a bedroom, but if you needed to, you could, but I think it makes an amazing office uh, that would have its own bathroom. But if someone did use that, having your own bathroom really does change things. You have the back porch here. This is a pretty good size, really nice for putting a table out, a place to sit around and enjoy uh, the outdoors with the covering very good size backyard. And again, this is against that cul-de-sac that we showed at the beginning. So this is a lot of space. You've got a number of trees there. You could do things with this. You could do a lot of gardening. You could, in theory, put in a pool. We have the breezeway on the side of the house that doubles as the outdoor garage space. There's no indoor garage notice here, but you do have a gate and you can bring multiple cars in, uh, have them well secured, and that provides that air on the side of the house, which we talked about in a lot of the videos that's important when you're designing uh, airflow for modern Nicaraguan houses. This one, however, you're probably going to use the air conditioning. That's how they've set it up. Nice stonework around the doors. We're going to head back through. There's not a lot to really see here, but everything is pretty nice. Everything's well done, well laid out. It's a good functional home with a few little options. Keep in mind, if you do use that fourth room as a bedroom instead of a bodega, you're going to be short on pantry and bodega space. That could end up being an issue. Thanks for joining us as we looked at another house today. I think that uh, these are a lot of fun. I love showing houses. I like getting the information out to everyone and, and really like kind of exposing what Nicaragua has to offer. And I like having something like this where we're doing a challenge in three similarly priced houses in the same area so you can see what the variety is like, what the kinds of options are that you might get in that particular price range. And remember, all these are asking price, so you could negotiate, of course, and we're not putting in any input as to what we think the price should be. We're just saying what they're asking. So, you know, keep that all in mind. Uh, and, uh, and obviously, there's a lot that you can do with these houses. Uh, if, you were, if you were to buy, of course, you could do anything you wanted. Uh, but even as a rental, you can make a lot of changes. Those that don't have air conditioning, you could put it in, you could repaint or whatever. Generally, that's not a problem. Uh, so it's, it's enjoyable for us to get to do this, and it makes my life a little bit easier. It is a big pain to run out and film, of course, but it does give me a concrete like thing that I'm recording for the day, and that's really nice for me. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you'd like to support us and all this work that we're doing, remember, I just wonder, we are not agents for these houses. We do not make a penny. No one pays us to do this. We do not get a commission. We are not involved. If you're going to get these houses, you're either going to deal with the owner, or you're going to deal with a seller's agent that is not us. So uh, if you'd like to support us in being able to go out and film these things and bring this information, of course, we'll make introductions for you. You know, the guy who goes out and shows us these houses, he would really appreciate the business if someone's interested in one of them. So uh, for sure, we'll hook you up. But we seriously, we don't make a penny except for if you go to buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller, you can donate to the cause and help us pay for the cameras and the gas and the time and all that. It would really mean a lot to me and a lot of you do. Thank you so much for making this all possible. I need to note the other day we did the skate competition yesterday, I think, and we actually, I didn't show it in the, the main video. We actually sponsored that by giving away pizzas uh, for the channel. So that was pretty cool. If you saw that that was that was us sponsoring as well. And if you're interested in, so oh, hold on, I gotta show this. My dogs constantly drink out of. They always have water, but if it rains, they love drinking out of. The, I don't know. Anyway, 
If you are interested in getting assistance with relocation, hit up our partner at relocatenicaragua.com, info at relocatenicaragua.com. There is a website coming in the future. I know they're working on it, but there is not one now, just the email. And as always, please share on social media. Tell people you know, your friends, your family, about the show. Show them what houses are like, what neighborhoods are like. Take a neighborhood walk with us. Look at a skating event, whatever it is. Let them know about the opportunities down here, whether it's just to visit or potentially to relocate. And I will see all of you tomorrow.